Your Excellency, Secretary General Ban, Ambassador Mendelssohn, dear Amal, guests and friends, I am most grateful to the UN Office on Drugs and Crime for appointing me Goodwill Ambassador for the Dignity of Survivors and Human Trafficking. I stand with you today to represent those who are gone from us. We cannot bring them back with them in mind. Always, we fight on. We have to continue fighting. I was a farmer, a villager, and I was born to be such. I had hopes common to all young girls of my village. I was not raised to give speeches. Neither was I born to meet world leaders, nor to represent a cause so heavy and so difficult. Before ISIS came to my village, there was nothing more important to me than my dignity, than my mother, my dear mother. And although she is now gone, my dear mother is with me here today in soul and in spirit. She, along with my brothers and so many others, left this world too soon. And my life in Sinjal as a simple Yazidi farm girl is gone forever. The dreams and hopes of my whole community are gone. As you have heard, the night of August 3rd, 2014, everything changed. Daesh came to kidnap, to murder, to rape. This was genocide. It is that simple. In a matter of days, if not hours, thousands of Yazidis were killed and thousands of women and children were taken just because they were Yazidis. I was taken to Mosul with others. I was used in the way they wanted to use me. I was not alone. And perhaps I was the lucky one. As time passed, I found a way to escape where thousand others could not. They are still captive. Dearest Shami is with us today, dressed just as my mother dressed. She has lost all of her children but one. Shami's young daughters, Jilan and Shilan, committed suicide while in captivity to avoid being brutally raped. Dearest Shireen is here too, who was 20 years old. She was also enslaved and harmed. 23 of her family members were killed or captured. With Daesh women and children are the fuel that ignites the war. They are traded for sex or labor, trafficked and enslaved by a divine right according to Daesh. ISIS does not represent Islam. It uses Islam to justify its crimes. I would like to ask Muslim countries' leaders, and I would like to ask the Muslim community to stand with me and speak out against this distortion of their religion. Over the past few months, I have traveled to Egypt and Kuwait to explain to university students what ISIS is really about and to urge them not to join their ranks. I am honored to be named a goodwill ambassador for the UN, for the dignity of millions of survivors of human trafficking around the world. Their numbers exceed the population of some countries. Maybe I lived so that I would be able to use my heart and soul and my words 
to be their voice. Today, I speak for thousands of refugees and persecuted people who are displaced, who suffer in refugee camps in Kurdistan, Iraq, Syria, and beyond. And I urge UN members to accept refugees and asylum seekers particularly the ones who have become victims of genocide and trafficking in persons. We must help them. I would like also to thank my community who accepted me and who accepted all the girls who survived with a warm heart. I also thank Germany for giving me and many other Yazidi women a new home. But even today, I am not free. I cannot feel free while thousands other girls like me are still captive. We must work to find justice for those who are enslaved by Daesh and in the territories under Daesh control and all over the world. As we speak, over 3,200 Yazidis are still held in captivity by ISIL. We must find them. I call upon the international community to take action to rescue them at once and bring them back to their families. But we must also ensure that those responsible are held accountable for these crimes. Hey, NBC News fans, thanks for checking out our YouTube channel. Subscribe by clicking on that button down here and click on any of the videos over here to watch the latest interviews, show highlights, and digital exclusives. Thanks for watching.